I am wearing a Jister hat. I'm an Anna Island. And I am a pink puffball wearing a Jester hat. Hello there, everybody. This is Siwa the Plan One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Nightmare and Dreamland. Kirby Nightmare and Dreamland. Kirby. Anyway, last time we started this adventure going through Vegetable Valley, which we can go back to. Yeah. And we got the first piece of the Star Rod back. So today, we are going to continue through our adventure by going to Level 2 Ice Cream Island. Starting with the first stage, of course. And of course, being this uh, tropical island, there are obviously coconuts that explode and try to kill you. Yeah, because Kirby likes to do that. They like to, they like to have vegetables exp or, yeah, is coconut a vegetable? I don't know if coconut is an actual vegetable or not, but apparently it is. So, yeah, that's a thing. So anyway, this is your typical- <laughs> Yeah, whatever you do, do not suck up those enemies. Those are called Scarfies. Don't suck them up, otherwise they'll turn demonic. <laughs> yep, they'll turn demonic on you. Because that sucks. Anyway, we got one of my favorite abilities, if not my favorite ability, a uh, sword. Well, trust me when I say it's obviously a lot better in, like, the games where they actually utilize the abilities. Like, Superstar or Triple Deluxe. But, sword, it's just your stand- it's just your standard thing in this game and the original version. It's just, you swing a sword, and you get to do a little bit of a jump slash attack of sorts with the sword. So, yeah. That's basically all to the sword ability that is there in the sword. And these levels are gonna be running on really short, so yeah. <laughs> yep, just like in the original game, the levels are really short, so... Yeah, it's short, but it's fun. It's fun. Because let me tell you, like, this... This game was part of my Game Boy Advance High when I was a kid, and, uh, wait. This is... Oh, this! Okay. So, right here is my favorite mini-game of the bunch. Kirby's Air Grind. Obviously going to celebrate a certain GameCube game that is highly un underappreciated. So, you press A on the grind rails on when to blah, 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 blah. I'll show you. So, basically what you have to do is you have to hold the A button in order to grind really fast. Don't grind on the gray parts on the rails, otherwise you'll be stunned for a bit. And that's basically all to this uh, game. It's basically you just going through uh, all sorts of grind challenges and stuff. And you, obviously, you have to make it to first place. Like that. Um, something I should probably mention, actually, is the fact that, uh, you get so many extra lives, actually. And there's also the fact that there are actual different difficulty levels for the minigames in this game. Or in this version. And I'll be sure to show those particular- wow, that background looks cool. Um... I'll be sure to show those off when I get to the bonus episode, because yes, there's going to be a bonus episode showing off things. What things exactly? Wow, that... Oh, that that actually looks great. That background, though, that background, though. <laughs> I for, I've forgotten about that. That actually looks pretty cool. That looks pretty good. And, ah, yeah, this wheelie guy. I hate this guy, and so should you. But not if you're me. Because you get him in one hit. Well, by sucking him up, actually. Which I actually didn't set the select button to anything because the select button is the button that allows you to get rid of... What the heck? Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. I th okay, my emulator froze for like a second. Because, like, it deselected or something? I don't know, but at least I can show off wheel. So, basically, you go really, really fast as a wheel. So, yeah, you'll stop going into the wheel form after you've bumped into a wall. But hey, at least it gets you up these ramps. And it makes it really easy for you to speedrun this sort of thing. So, that's good. But either way, I'm the master at this game, unlike the NES version. Or this end-of-level game, yeah. So, get ready to see, like, a whole lot of lives from me. Yeah, get ready to see, like, this playthrough go off on, like, a whole bunch of lives. 
Oh, and I should probably mention. No way! I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this progression of the LP not totally a hundred percent. No. No, just like the EGF LP, I'm not going EGF version of this LP, I am not going to 100 percent it because this LP is for fun. Not for glory. For fun. Yeah. It's all because of the advent of Smash Bros. Wii U coming out. Like, seriously. Seriously. And I haven't freaking pre-ordered it yet. I'm getting lazy with this. Well, probably by the time this comes out... By the, by the time, like, this uh, gets released... Or rather, this episode gets released... Um... I probably would have had... Would have, like, pre-ordered uh, Smash Wii U by now. Where to pre-order it? I have no idea. Probably, like, Amazon or something. If I ask my mom, but whatever. <laughs> I can earn my own money if I wanna. But anyway, right here we got this guy. We got that guy. Ooh. So, we got this little guy, and that shows up, and he's like, Eh, hey, take care of him. I don't feel like dealing with him. And, of course, he's gonna send out all these mooks at us. All these random guys that apparently don't get dead in one hit. Well, these guys don't, certainly don't. The ones with the chain and ball and stuff. But you can still suck them up. You can still suck them up, and they'll still be your bitch. <laughs> but regardless, uh, let's see. Let's get that, and get that guy, and get back wheel. And then deal with the... Whoa! Okay, that was close. That was actually pretty freaking close. You almost had me right there. Mysterious guy with the mask sword thing, but you did not. So there you go. It's gonna be my catchphrase now, so there you go. I know I've said that, like, in a lot of videos, actually. Other than actually, but whatever. You can tell I'm back to recording Prime, right? <laughs> yep, I'm totally back to recording Prime, and it it's it's great. It's great. But anyway, what's up here? Oh, it's just a museum. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We got fire and laser. Ooh. If only I knew where the button was to do that. Oh, there it is. Right shift. Okay. So, laser right here is one of my more favorite abilities in this game because you literally shoot out a laser. And now I just realize where where the whole reference with Kirby Rob is from. <laughs> Or Rob Kirby is from. Yeah. I gotta say, like, character name first and then Kirby. Because that's how abilities work. So, Laser Kirby here shoots out a laser. And it's great because it shoots out a laser. And you can hit enemies from a very long range because of that. And also, it's probably not in this level. I don't think it is. But it can also bounce off of certain walls. So that's good. And oh, this guy. This guy. This guy dishes out a really good ability. So I might drop laser for this. Just so that I can show this off. And that ability is... Mike Kirby! So when there's a bunch of enemies on the screen, similar to Crash, it's a screen nuke. Like this. Except now it's got Kirby Superstar all up in here. Well, except for the third one, because the third one is not Kirby Superstar at all. Well, it is Kirby Superstar in a visual sense, but not but not in the sense where it's like... Where sometimes it goes all like... DEADSTOOL! I love it! I love it! Oh yeah, it's this level right here where, where you can have laser bounce off of walls. Alright. But yeah, Mike is like one of the best friggin' abilities in the Kirby series, because... It... Because, like, it's basically the third one. Like, the whole bunch of things that Kirby turns into in order to dish out the mic pain. Like, like the first one, it's like a director shouting, CUT! And then, it's like a recording artist. And then, Kirby turns into, like, a recording artist where he's like, oh, yeah! And then, Mike, and then the third one is just like, DEAD STOOL! I love it. I love it. That's, like, one of my, my absolute favorite things about Mike, Kirby. It's just, it's just so great. I just like it. I like it so much. Ow. What I don't like is getting hit. And getting hit is wrong. It's all sorts of wrong. But, and you get hit. What's the point? You're just gonna get recovered health anyway. Yeah. 
Yep. That's the whole thing. So anyway, yeah, now we actually have a fifth level. Who would have thunk? Instead of four, now we have five. Yay. And of course, this takes us to a much more tropical part of the thing, and we got that really cool background actually. You know what? I've forgotten how I forgotten how nice the backgrounds of Kirby are actually. <laughs> um well, one thing I one thing I got spoiled on in Nightma in Return to Dreamland is the Nutty Noon background where it's like at sunset, and that background looks gorgeous for the Wii. And this background looks really good for for the Game Boy Advance. I'm not gonna lie. In fact, in fact, like Kirby games usually like to keep the old cartoony style at work, with a whole bunch of stuff going on in the background. And oh yeah, that thing. Whatever you do, do not swallow that ability I just ran over. Because that ability is called sleep. It basically makes you go to sleep and that's it. Well, in a situation where you're kind of getting screwed, you don't want to swallow that. But if you just like a nice nap, go ahead. It's your funeral though, but eh, what are you going to do? Oh yeah, also, something I forgot to mention. Is the fact that uh, they have little descriptions for the abilities. That's neat. Like this. Where I walk, enemies bulk. <laughs> That's an actual word. And I gently float down. It's like Kirby. It's like Kirby's trying to speak. It's like Kirby's trying to speak here. And he's right. You can't actually slowly descend with parasol. Let's see the description for sword. Let's see. I can't lose with this sword. If they zig, I cut him. If they zag, I'll cut him too. Okay. That's neat. And kill that kaboo. There you go. I Okay. When it actually comes to uh, Kirby enemy names, actually. Oh, oh, wait. Before we go onward. This. You need high jump Kirby in order to do this. And you want to, of course, you want to watch out for the screen new guys. But uh, yeah, when it comes to uh, Kirby enemy names, like, I know that's called a Poppy Bros. I know that's called a Bronto or something like that. Is it? Is it called that one? I don't know if it is, but yeah. When it comes to Kirby enemy names, I only know a few, like uh, Kaboo, uh, Poppy Bros, uh, uh, Sword Knight, Blade Knight. Only know those certain type of things and stuff, but I don't really know the majority of uh, the Kirby enemy names, to be perfectly frank here. Well, not these, but. Well, just most of them that appear. But anyway, now we have this thing. The arena. Battle for maximum tomatoes and copy abilities. So you have to beat a certain mini boss of sorts in order to get your reward. And of course, with laser, that makes it incredibly easy. And of course, you can choose to swallow them up if you wish. But that's really all to the arena, actually. And now for this. The Warp Star Room. Use this star to jump to various levels if you want. So we can use that warp star in order to go back to World 1. In a really nice sort of universe type way. And one actually really neat detail is... In this, is the fact that uh, each level background is different. It's not just uh, one singular room. It actually has these, these trees that look pretty... They look pretty neat, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Something tells me I'm gonna I'm gonna get amazed at the Game Boy Advance graphics more than I am in the actual game <laughs> during this LP. But eh, what are you gonna do? Anyway, boss time! This guy, this painter guy, and wow, that background looks trippy. Uh, so basically, what he's gonna do is he's gonna is he's gonna paint objects and they'll come to life. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna have to hit him as hard as you can, or hit him as much as you can. And you also want to prevent his creations from destroying you. So, yeah, that's basically all to this boss fight. Pretty much if you're going into the Kirby series, just know that the bosses... Well, not like the Triple Deluxe bosses. The, the early Kirby game bosses aren't really that hard, actually. They're a bit easy. So, yeah. It's not like the Return to Dreamland uh, type bosses where they have like so much health and they don't and they die in a lot of hits. No, this is the classic Kirby games where 
enemies actually have a thing. Actually have a small sort of health bar. Yeah. But anyway, we are done with level two, Ice Cream Island, and we got another piece of the warp of the Star Rod back. Not the another piece of the warp star. What the heck am I saying? So now we are going to stop this episode here. Next time on Let's Play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, we're going up to this world, Butter Building. Which eh. <laughs> See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.